Hi, I'm Giles, and today we're going to be talking about the website functionality of Airstock. When you sign up to Airstock, you're given a website template that you can change and adapt to suit your company, your requirements, and how you want to showcase yourself to the customers around the world. So there's no need to spend that time developing and maintaining a site. We give you one as part of signing up to Airstock. And straight away here, you can see you've got the home, you've got the, this is what customers will land on, so they can see your logo, they can see a description about you. Underneath here, they can see different clips that you put on there, images, video, whether it's to sell a stock or just a showcase, or whether you just want to organize it. Might be some stories you've got. You've got some articles you have at the bottom as well, so you can build an audience, you can share that socially. And then you've got somewhere that customers can get in touch with you to ask you a question or to hire you directly. Also here you can see, you can go into the, like, your media section where you can actually, where you upload your videos, your photos and organize them in files. And same with articles, you can upload and you can then put them out onto, the, onto your homepage and again, socially as well. So to actually go to that, if you go to website on the main dashboard, you go into the website section and you see firstly content and you can see the, the business name, your subdomain, so you can change them to suit. You've got your short description, that's the bit that comes up on the website in your home part. So that comes up underneath your logo part there. Or you've got the about us here. And basically for that part, if a customer's searching for you, that will come up then. So for instance, if, if I click on Copterman, here you'll see their profile here. And if they've got any description, it will come up here, there. So all these parts are really important to put out there. You, this is tends to be short and snappy. This is more of a bigger description about your company, maybe a little bit more about the details, about who you are, where you've come from, if you want to go into that uh, extent. Hourly rate, and then you can base it on the currency where you're based. This is to give a, an idea for customers as to roughly what they would be looking to pay uh, if they're looking to hire you. It's not, it has to be exact by any means. A lot of people do day rates, half day rates, or it depends on the job. We completely understand that. The idea of this is just to give a slight indication to a customer as to, for their budget purposes. And then underneath here, you can upload various logos, images, etc. that all relate to your website. And again, your showreel, showreel video is very important. And we've noticed customers always look at that, that part of it. Then you can go into styling. Here you can change the colors on there to suit. You might have certain company colors, your header font, and then your paragraph font. And you can keep that different or say, don't worry about the custom CSS at the moment. We'll come back to that at a later stage. If you go into insurance, you can add any insurance details on there. Uh, so you can put in the name, policy reference, and the value. If you're, if you're looking and you are using insurance by the hour, that's not a problem. You can just specify that when customers try and are looking to hire you. You can specify that on your quote. And then for stock licenses, you can take simply one of the licenses we've already provided here, which is commercial rights managed, which is where you're giving away, you're giving a customer a sub license to use the uh, footage for a specific purpose. That's what we had on Airstock before. You got royalty free where you give them the rights to use it everywhere, wherever they want to, or you've got creative commons and you can choose the one that suits you don't have to, you can have one per clip, one per image, or you can have one for all your footage, depending. And you can change the name of that to suit, and then you can have a read through, and then you can change them there and then. And as soon as you press save, that automatic automatic correlates to the stock clips that you've got. And then you're fully in charge of that in terms of pricing, selling, and the licensing. And then to get paid for the site, at the moment we work with Stripe. Stripe and PayPal are very similar in the way we work. We currently work with Stripe at the moment. Um, you enter your, you sign up with Stripe and that means that anyone can then pay you through the site automatically. If you don't have, if Stripe's not a, uh, enabled in your area or you don't have Stripe at the moment, that's not a problem. You can still use every part of our site, but you'll have to, they'll have to contact you to pay and then you have to send them a PayPal link. Still very simple, very easy to do, but it does mean that it's not automatically payment through the site itself. But again, if this is a problem, please do get in touch. Uh, we are developing and implementing new things all the time, so hopefully we will address this in the near future. At any point, when you made the changes, all you have to do, click on website, and you can automatically see the change you've made there and then. And you can see whether it suits you. If not, go back and adapt it to suit. Please do get in touch if you've got any questions. Thank you very much for listening.